On this trip, we had three guests, Dad and his son, trying to get more sailing experience together, and a old scuba diving friend. And we also were able to see the ship that had listed and rolled on its side off of the Brunswick Channel here. And it was a freight car carrier, 4,000 cars on it. And we've got some great video of that because we were just right next to it. And um, you can see it actually on its side. So you're going to look at the top of the boat. It's super cool. So stay tuned. Well, it's 5 o'clock and all is well. We have our parasail up because we are running downwind. And it's perfect about eight knot wind right now. Two of my boat crew are taking a beer break. Putting that parasail up is just a lot of work. <laughs> but you guys did a great job. No problem. Say hi to the video, John. <laughs> no problems in that pair of No problem at all. It just took an hour. <laughs> hour done. Hour and a half, I think it was. But, but it's worth it. It's worth it. Yeah, it is. Now we can just sit back and do nothing the rest of the trip. <laughs> well, we hope. Yeah. Good thing we got enough more dark. Yeah, that's for sure. We we'll catch the sunset soon. Okay, here we have Kevin and Jake sharing the journey with us down to St. Simon. Kevin has a great mastery of all the sailing terms, so that I envy, by the way, Kevin. <laughs> and I've been on this boat three years. So. And uh, Jake's in learning mode wants to wants to be sailing as much as he can. This is turning him into a monster. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be obsessed with it from yeah. now on. <laughs> well, as long as the wind is nice and the direction of the waves is nice. Maybe we'll get some rough weather for you though, you know? He needs it. <laughs> Always wishing someday we can get in the front of this sail and see what it looks like. But when it's plenty of wind to run it. You don't want to run the drone, so it's really hard. One more sunset shot before we eat dinner. Hi! What's up? Dinner's almost ready. Really? Yeah. Oh, sweet. Well, we've been sailing all night and uh, we ran the pair sailor all night long. That's the first for us. I had to shift it a couple times in the middle of the night as the wind shifted towards the east. But that's good. We're always a little leery about running this at night because if the wind picks up too much, you got to take it down. And uh, we try to avoid sail changes at night, so this worked out just fine. It's, it's about 6 a.m. now, and we're reaching our destination already. We are right off the St. Simon Sea Buoy, 
So we're gonna take the parasailer down and gonna head in. Uh, we're about to approach the, the, the sunken barge. Yeah. Yeah, it's up here. We're about to be. We're about. We're about to be there. That makes a good time. Then. Yeah. We, I thought we were gonna. I mean, I just woke up like a, like an hour ago. My sun froze and everything. What time is it? Oh, no, I woke up. I woke up like an hour and a half ago. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna be there really soon. Yeah, we're gonna get rental car. We're gonna, we'll probably be back before, way before you do. But we're about to go. Morning coffee. How's everybody doing this morning? Good, good. Yes. Uneventful evening. They're navigating us through the channel. There's Jake from State Farm. Oh, no, no, it's just regular Jake. <laughs> I'm not wearing khakis either. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> We're coming in the St. Simon Brunswick Channel and there is the crane structure that has been built around the ship, the cargo ship. It has about 4,000 cars on it that had rolled over right in the channel. Hopefully we're going to get close enough to be able to take a look at it. They are dismantling it now so they can get all the cars out of it. And hopefully they'll be able to remove a lot of it so it's not in anybody's way. So it looks like they've already started dismantling this. Too bad the crane's not operating. That would be a sight to see. Pulling those cars off of there. Lots of activity though. They did be us off. The buoy's right there, so we could have got real close, but eh, better not to. So what you're looking at there is actually the top of the boat. So it totally flipped on its side and you're looking at the top. So you can see um, all the portholes that would be on the side or actually on the top. from the rear.
Morningstar Marina, Golden Isle, in St. Simons, Georgia. Here goes our crew. Great crew, great time. We got here way too fast. Hi, just wanted to give you a synopsis of our St. Simon's trip. And Steven's gonna give you a rundown of all the stats on the trip. Stats as best I can. So it was um, about an 18 hour total trip. That was dock to dock. It's 106 miles buoy to buoy. We had really great <clears throat> winds coming down, northwest winds in the beginning that slowly clocked around out of the northeast overnight. Um, and they were running anywhere from 18 to 22 knots. So because it was really dead behind us, it was a difficult sail on a catamaran with a main and a Genoa without tacking off of that. So Dawn had the great idea of running the parasail. It's actually a requirement because I knew we wanted to run that fair so otherwise we'd be going into the waves and tacking and so we um we did decide to run that parasail. I was a little hesitant with it because I've never run it in that kind of a wind before. So we had true wind speeds, like I said, of 18 to 22 knots. Um, I'm not a fan of that sail much more above, uh, you know, 18 knots or so, but we decided to give it a wing. And so the apparent wind behind us um, averaged anywhere from really 10 to 14 knots. Um, there was a lot of power in that sail. There was a lot of strain on the sheets on that sail. However, it really did fabulous all the way down and we were running easily uh, eight and upwards of 10 knots coming down sea in that condition. So it was really fantastic. I'd say our overall average is probably eight and a half knots all the way down. But yeah, we saw some six and a half knots and we saw some 10 knots, but yeah, the most of it, I'd say in the eight, eight and a half knot range. So really, really great sail. Ran it all night long. Uh, and got to the sea buoy right at daybreak pretty much. Um, doused that parasail at the time, ran the Genoa up and came on into the inlet. So it was a great sail. We did have one issue with uh, a line that we didn't run exactly correctly. Exactly correct. Yeah, it didn't go in the block quite right, so we had a little chafing on one of the lines. and. A little bending on one of the blocks, but other than that, it really did well all the way down. And like I said, it talked around from um, coming out of the northwest to coming out of the northeast, so we were able to trim that sail, um, you know, in that kind of 120 to 120 range, and it, it worked great. We loved it. It was a great sail to have, and gave us that direct shot rather than have a have a jibe coming all the way down. And our guests were happy. It uh, gave them experience they've not had before. We had a uh, dad and his son on board and the son was really getting interested in sailing so his dad wanted to give him an experience here they've had other experiences in bvi and whatnot um, but not on the east coast so this was good for them and uh, we had an old scuba diving friend come aboard with us as well so yeah. great trip yeah great trip